Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. In present scenario, I don't have time. Did you observe that I am not doing any editing? Simply I'll switch on the camera, I'll record it and then switch off it. No time for editing. Anyway, today we'll see very important topic in financial management that is objectives of financial management. Objectives. What is the object of financial management? Why financial management? If you want to go for objectives, you have to remember one simple concept that is acquiring and utilization of funds is the main important funda. Acquiring and utilization of funds. We have to acquire the funds, required funds, capital. Then once if you get it, once if you have acquired, then utilization. How to utilize it? Where to utilize it? There are many ways, there are many concepts. There are many areas where we can invest our money, where we have to utilize it properly. There are many areas, but choosing a proper area is one of the important aspect of every wise financial manager activity. So choosing the right area. So once if you know that uh, I have acquired it properly, I have utilized it properly then automatically which will be definitely uh, goes benefits to the uh, benefit to the organization so this is main important what you have to remember now if you see the objects of financial management only two objects are there first one is profit maximization second one is wealth maximization profit maximization means wanted to get more profit profit should be maximized let me get more max, as much as possible profit so that will be useful for the organization whenever organization is having profit means it indicates that financial it is sound balancing company financially sound and no doubt at all this organization is good that stamp automatically gets that stamp automatically will be given to those companies who are under profits more profits not just simple profits at one stage also you get profit break even after that you started getting profit that's not profit so that is just to survive the organization but more profit you want means you need to focus more you have to uh, get some kind of strategies that strategies has to be implemented to get the profit so profit maximization is the one of the main object we'll discuss in de depth profit maximization second one is that wealth maximization profit maximization is always temporary i got the profit okay that profit can be utilized properly shall i give it uh, shall i give it to the uh, shareholders in the form of dividend or shall i invest it reinvest in the company so that everything we can decide it but profit is always temporary wealth maximization wealth i wanted to increase when I want, when I increase the wealth of the organization, then automatically, so that is permanent. In long term, that makes effect in the organization activities and organization's stability also. Wealth maximization. Profit maximization means we get the profit. So, we'll, we are going to utilize it. How do we utilize it? That depends on the organization and the, that depends on the uh, lump sum of the profit. But whereas wealth maximization, wealth maxima maximization means here mainly focusing on the shareholders. Shareholders. Shareholders that share value they wanted to increase. That is wealth maximization. If we increase the share value, suppose say uh, when shareholder purchase share at the rate of uh, say 10 rupees per share. Company is growing, there is a lots of demand and slowly the company started increasing the share value. 10 rupees to 12 rupees, 15 rupees, now it has come to 20 rupees double. So that is wealth maximization. Means altogether entire company shares will be calculated. That is we can say it as a that wealth of the organization is increasing. Let us study in depth what is uh, uh, profit maximization, what is wealth maximization? After that, another important aspect that is differences between profit maximization and wealth maximization. This concept is very important. Short, short you can expect, essay also you can expect in the exam, right? Now, let us focus on the first profit maximization. 
what other concepts are there first thing is that measuring tool for efficiency and prosperity of business profit is there means this is the measuring tool for the prosperity and for the business organization point of view profit is more yes it is a good organization this is one of the main measuring point no profit will come to know the position right so this is important then after that growth of a business profit maximization so shows the growth of the organization the profit is there profit is maximized getting more profits then it shows that there is a growth in the organization when there is a growth in the organization the organization has to be more alert and they have to take the proper decisions okay profit you got it means that's a growth and how to increase more growth put a strategy focus on that are you getting it in the same third one crisis management whenever we have crisis profit maximization is going to helpful crisis like a recession period or otherwise severe competition or due to economical political any kind of effect the organization is not running very well the organization is not in a proper position then in such cases that we say it as a crisis management profit is going to be helpful especially in crisis management you can escape you can survive and you will get a breathing time then after that you can uh, just build up some strategy plan and implementation so see uh, temporarily a time breathing time period will be given by the profit management profit maximization okay so that is why especially in crisis management it is useful and next one socio economic welfare every organization wants to do some kind of prof socio welfare activities firstly for the employees of the organization who are directly indirectly connected with the organization then after that outside also like if you see infosys wipro and hindustan limer liver limited so all these companies they are doing some kind of social activities how it is possible when it is possible where company is getting the profits then only it is possible right so that is why profit maximization depends on all these areas now next coming to the wealth maximization wealth maximization first important point is that shareholders economic shareholders economic welfare is important shareholders that share value we are increasing when we are increasing the share value they feel very comfortable dividend they are getting as well as share value is also increasing i purchased 500 shares each share is 10 rupees means 5000 it has become 20 rupees it means 5000 shares has become 10000 just imagine isn't it so that shareholders economic welfare is important and which makes impact on the organization also automatically and next one uniform payment of dividend if you have wealth maximization we can take a proper way of payment of dividend a uniformity you can maintain it so in the same fashion you can just go ahead so there is no discrimination and proper dividend you will be paying and this ray same uniformity you can maintain it where wealth is maximized and in the same way risk and time value of money is considered in wealth maximization risk is considered and also time value is also considered risk you know and time value at present whatever may be the price after 2 years it won't be it may increase most of the time so that also suppose if uh, at present period uh, one 1000 uh, rupees value at present 1000 rupees value after 10 years what will be the value of 1000 rupees it won't be l- same it will be definitely much much more than the 1000 rupees that is time value of money so this will be considered by the wealth maximization they'll consider all these things then after that they'll be increasing the wealth and in the same way considered in cash flows they are going to consider in even in cash flows how much cash inflow is there or cap, how much cash outflow is there and at the same time dividends and earnings per share is how much so everything they calculate they they consider it then after that wealth maximization will be decided so these are the main important areas or main important objects of financial management simple easy to remember 
what are the objectives of financial management profit maximization wealth maximization that's all now we'll see the difference what is uh, uh, what are the differences between the profit maximization and wealth maximization total only five points are there easy to remember so if you see the basis of difference each and every point if we discuss it will be very clear for you so in this table basis of difference profit maximization wealth maximization is given first thing is that purpose what is the purpose of profit maximization profit maximization purpose is maximize profit from business as much as possible i wanted to get profits because future is uncertain at present if i get profit in future crisis or any kind of problems are there the same profit i can use it right that is why maximum uh, earnings of profit is the main object okay purpose is maximize the profit from the business and here enhance the market value of shares enhance the market value of shares as i told you 10 rupees share value it has increased 12 rupees 15 rupees as much as possible you wanted to increase the shares how can you increase when there is a demand when there is a demand in the market then only it is possible so but their ambition is to increase the value of the shares here to get the more profit there to increase the value of the shares second point is formula how do you calculate this profit simple profit is equal to total receipts total revenue receipts minus total cost total receipts i got this much okay and how much i spent deduct it from that i got this much of receipt total revenue receipts are this much and cost is this much the difference is the profit isn't it but how do you calculate wealth maximization that is the formula wealth maximization wealth is equal to number of shares owned number of shares owned into means multiplied number of shares owned into stock stock consumer stock price per unit okay stock price per unit number of shares into price per unit per unit how much is there how, how many number of units are there multiply you will get wealth more number of uh, units are there more number of price is increasing then automatically wealth is increasing so this is about formula of profit maximization wealth maximization third one is time span just now we have discussed short short period this is which one profit maximization profit maximization is short term period we got profits is temporary not permanent whereas wealth maximization is it is long term period in long term it is going to make effect not temporary the same time value of money time value of money at present what is the value for that money and in coming years after 5 years after 10 years so that is not considered in profit maximization profits we got it we don't see that after 10 years what will be the profit value we don't see that we just see at present profit is how much but whereas wealth maximization it is considered time value money is considered that also we consider now okay we are increasing the price but after 10 years what after 5 years what so that we are going to consider next one is that beneficiaries who are the beneficiaries for profit maximization and wealth maximization for profit maximization generally the benefit goes to the organization but firstly to the shareholders especially when there is a separation of management from ownership when management is separating from ownership in such cases profit goes to first to shareholders then everything comes later otherwise in general who are the beneficiaries company itself company will utilize company will decide what shall we do this profit right but in case of when there is separation of management and ownership then benefit goes to the first shareholders then everything comes later whereas in wealth maximization shareholders are going to get the benefit and later by the organization in general any time any time wealth maximization first shareholders later the organization but now here it is not like that first organization only in separation of 
organization with management then only shareholders otherwise first preference will be given to the company only but there first preference is given to the shareholders wealth maximization am i clear okay so this is very important take a screenshot i hope uh, with this first unit is completed in the next class we'll focus on the time value of money time value money that is second chapter very important and useful also by the way did you check the playlist please utilize there are many subjects but taking lots of time and energy preparing for you all there are many people who cannot pay anything especially for them my talks are free of cost use it and share it practice well study well good luck